How's it going guys? My name is Eric Van Wilderman and welcome back to Geometry Dash. In this video, we are going to be doing some levels that usually don't get enough attention. I find that a lot of people play easier levels like harder difficulty and down and then demon levels, but a lot of people don't touch the insane rated levels. So here we go, three more insane levels coming right at you. The first one we're going to start with, the reason being is it takes a lot of memorization, so it's called Kismet Chaos. Now this level is kind of special because there are some gameplay decisions I wasn't too big of a fan of, but the level has some really cool and unique ideas. And in Geometry Dash in this day, something unique, it, it can happen. And it does happen frequently, but still it's hard to do. And so I wanted to show off this level. It's not one of the more popular ones, but I really enjoyed the style of it. So it's called Kismet Chaos by Ryan Munlo. Let's do it. This is, uh, the beginning, it t see, it takes like, a bit of memorization because, like, at some parts your vision is obstructed, but it looks so cool! I mean, look at that, doesn't that look cool? But you really gotta remember what's coming up because it's hard to see, is the thing, right? So that's why it might not be everyone's cup of tea, because this level comes at you fast, and you gotta remember what to do, so hit the button down there, and then don't jump, you gotta fall down and you hit the jump ring. <laughs> it comes at you quick, especially this first part, okay. So, fall, and then jump and hit that, and that's a dash orb, cool. So, fall, jump, fall, and boom, hit the dash orb. Now we're gravy. Now this part's kind of tricky, because you gotta jump up there, and there's that thing that obstructs your view. This is a really cool wave part, by the way. I really- <laughs> When you come out of there, there's another tricky part in this level, which is kind of an odd thing, is you come out of that wave section, and there's a dash orb you gotta hit. It's just kind of sitting there in the middle. So even though you're wiggling and waving in the middle, uh, sometimes you'll accidentally hit the dash orb and then let go, because you're trying to go straight. It's this weird dichotomy of having, like, these amazing parts, but being able to, like, so easily die and it being a little bit frustrating, you know? So jump once, and then go through there. So your vision is obstructed a little bit, right? You just gotta- Ah, come on, yes! Okay, we hit the dash orb. Now let's recall. So this comes at you right away, that transition. You gotta really be ready for that. And then- mm. I find that there's not enough time between the transitions to really see what's coming up. It'll like all of a sudden like fade out and then fade back in really quick and you're like Arr! And you gotta press a button right away. Some of the transitions are like that, so you really gotta practice it thoroughly. There's some memorization bits. The skill level's not that high, it's just because there's a lot of cool effects and stuff going on, you really have to memorize what's happening. Such peaceful music. I love this song, this is a great song. Okay, focus. We know how- I don't like spider parts! <laughs> this part's so easy. This part, like, I, I, I've never died to this part, and I don't know why, because you can hit the platforms and stuff, which is weird, because there's a lot of, of other really hard parts, and yep, that just comes flying at you. But to be honest, that transition's not that bad. That's actually one of the best transitions when it switches sections, uh, because you have some time to react. I was just blabbing and talking, so I missed it. Oof. Yeah, that can kill you if you go too high through the UFO portal. That part right there, when the thing goes in the foreground and blocks your vision, it's kind of hard to see exactly if you're going to go over the spike or not. It's not a particularly hard part, but there's just a lot of things that block your vision in this level. I mean, the, the level looks so cool, though. Like, the things that block your vision, you see it and you're like, oh, what a cool little effect, but then you die? So this level has frustrating elements, but has some cool ideas like this, right? Ah, <laughs> see? I was going straight there and I swear to god I hit the dash orb, but I didn't hit it. Oh my god. Oh man, stressful. Stress me out, okay, let's not die here. Ah! You gotta jump right away! God damn it! The transitions! Oh man, when I was doing practice mode of this level, like... I was getting pretty frustrated in practice mode. The whole time in practice mode, it was weird. It was this mix of emotions of, oh my god, what a cool level. I gotta include this in my next Insane Levels video. And also like, oh my god, but now I'm gonna have to beat it? <laughs> oh shit. Weird mix of emotions, but it's not that long. So even though there's some memorization, like you can't, you can do it, right? And then just, oh my. That's such a cool part. And then it has that stupid dash orb there. <laughs> Fuck! Ah! I can't react fast enough! Oh, ah, I thought I died there. See, I couldn't even see what I was doing. I thought I died there. Like, come on, hit the dash orb. Fall. Wait, Eric. Yes! Yes. Victory. Spider. But not too quick. 
Oh, you can die there too. Oh, whoa, I'm out of control a little bit, but it doesn't matter because this part's so easy compared to the rest of the level. So easy. Okay, hit this dual part. This dual part has a tricky part here. This part, the spider, right here. You gotta hit that so fast. And then, oh my god, we're gonna do it. Yes, it's easy from here on out. In stark contrast to the beginning. There we go, and that's it. See, this level looks so cool. Doesn't it look awesome? I love the effects. I love the way it looks. It goes well to the music. It's such a happy, fun experience. It's great. But God damn it, some parts at the beginning. <laughs> Transitions really quick. Holy God damn, man. I like wanted to rip the little bit of hair <laughs> left that I had out of my head. I was trying to really grab it with my fingertips, but I couldn't do it. Which is a whole nother sad story, mind you, but we're not gonna get into that. Overall, I love the unique parts of it. I love the way that wave part plays where you're dodging the spikes. And the dual spider part, while a little bit tricky, I did manage to get through there the first time. Felt really unique, fast paced, but fair. And so, there are parts of this level that really shine as amazing. And that's why I wanted to show it off, because the unique parts are so worth experiencing. You just gotta get through a bit of memorization and a little bit of frustration with the quick transitions, and yeah. But then you'll be fine. This is such a cool level though, Kismet Chaos. Really enjoyed it, you guys should check it out. I'm gonna leave a little thumbs up here. Hey, I didn't even realize, that's a Lemon song too. Cool song, Lemons, you're talented. That was cool, love that song. The next one we're going to be doing is Propane Nightmares by Rafer. This one is kind of in stark contrast to the previous level we played. This one uses like a simple design, but it has such fun gameplay and it's such a pleasure to play. And even though it has a simple design, it has this cool like trippy effect while you're playing it where it looks like it's kind of glitching out and it has like the this different coloration that pops up like all this all these weird colors and, and it's really cool because it feels like the level's glitching and the way it moves around it as moving objects but it's all intentional and it's such a cool level to play while having a simple design and very fun gameplay propane nightmares by rafer it's xl too so this might take me a while because i've only practiced through it once but the gameplay was pretty easy it's just XL, right? So I just gotta be on my toes. See, look at the way it's like all like kind of kinking into place. It's like kink, 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 kink. That's really trippy. And it's like, oh, it's kind of like getting ready to glitch out. It it's <laughs> such a cool level, such a cool idea. Using a lot of like, the you can see some of the 1.9 objects that are used in a lot of the popular 1.9 levels and having like the glitch out effect. It's really cool. It's like nostalgic but also really like new feeling because of how cool the gameplay is, right? And it uses all the gameplay modes, the new ones. So this is such a pleasure to play and it's in contrast to the other one, which had like a little bit of frustrating gameplay, but like just really cool, like over the top effects, right? Anyways, this level is such a pleasure to play. Here we go. We're gonna do it. I love how it changes colors like that. Oh my God, I missed the goddamn jump ring. As you can see, I mean, that was my first attempt, made it pretty far, 38%. Considering this is an XL that is pretty far, it's pretty easy to sight read. Another thing that's in contrast to the previous level is you can sight read this level easily. Unless you're going for the coins, which are kind of like off the beaten track, which I didn't find, by the way. I just wanna show off the level. So I'm not in a coiny mood. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. Okay, now we're flying. Let's make sure not to die here though. Now I'm getting a little nervous because I died there twice. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, that's a little quick. Holy mama. Still, you just gotta keep yourself kinda like straight, right? Holy shit, I think I pressed a button when I wasn't supposed to, but I'm still alive somehow. There's a coin, I don't know how to get you, but I don't care. We just wanna get to the end. There is a dual part coming up where it says focus, but it's still like not that difficult. There's not much to focus on. You just gotta jump twice on the bottom then once on the top after. Oh. I didn't press anything there. I guess you're supposed to jump. I thought like if you just hit the thing, you just flew over naturally, but you just, yo, you gotta jump. That's the part I died to, right? I just slid right over there, what? Okay, no, sometime, what? So maybe, okay, if you hit the blue jump ring late, you don't die. Late, there we go. Let's not die now, Eric, come on.
And we're flying. Where'd I go? Oh, <laughs> there we go. All right, cool. That's so much fun to play. And it's so easy to sight read. It's so cool. So cool. So this level is just a pleasure to play because it's so much fun. I also like the cool multicoloration effects. It makes it seem really intense. It makes it seem like you're at a rave or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's really cool and like the glitch effects where everything's like moving around and stuff and it, it's really cool And the last level we're gonna be doing is the hidden land by blue light You know blue light from the Steven Universe level I forget exactly what it's called But this level is an art level called the hidden land and the art looks fantastic and need I even say more just look at it Look at it. It's great. It's fantastic also has really easy uh, to sight read gameplay uh, There are a couple little bits where you need a little bit of know-how like that just don't don't hit that. Feels like we're gonna go on an adventure with this song playing. It's cool, I'm excited. We're gonna do this, even though I, I mean, I already practiced, I know what's coming up. So this part might trick out some people. Oh, what, what, what? <laughs> Why did I go in there? <laughs> this level as well is very long. Even longer than Propane Nightmares, I believe. This probably is like almost three minutes, which is really impressive. A lot of cool art and it's three minutes long. I like that kind of Loch Ness monster thing in the back. That's cool. The dinosaur. Well, it's the hidden land, so it's a dinosaur, right? The hidden land. Lost to time. Wee! Now this part here, you kind of. I was gonna say, don't mash the button in the UFO. You kind of gotta lightly glide your way up. But I didn't hit the button enough, so don't take my advice. There we go. See, that wasn't that hard, right? Ah! Okay, let's, let's make sure we don't die. Transitions. Yeah, there's a couple jump rings later on that you have to have some specific timings for. And so I'm scared that I'm gonna forget those and then I'm gonna die. See, so far it's pretty easy to sight read, right? Just like the last level of Propane Nightmares. And I think the only reason why these levels are insane rated is because they're so long. Got it. That wasn't that hard, that was just... Really lacking focus. That's kind of a hard jump. I can't believe we survived that. That was one of the parts I was talking about that you have to really remember. Mm, spider section. Why must you taunt me so? Okay, let's do this. We've made it so far. That looked like a little Mewtwo in the background. We got it. We're not even halfway through the level. Oh, there was a spike down there. That part, you gotta jump twice. You gotta jump twice! Oh, uh, like as I landed, I pressed the button, but it was too late. You can just hold down the button there. This, this level is so cool, like that shit, that's so cool! I love it. We're going to the hidden land, guys, ladies and gents. This part, I'm glad we came in here to practice this, I forgot about this. There, I wouldn't say tricky jumps, but there's a little bit of know-how that I was reading. Like that black jump ring, I don't think you can hit right away, you have to wait a tiny bit. Although, I, I'm not exactly too sure. <laughs> yeah, I am rocking it though, but you know, this level's super long, so. Oh, that jump! If I die there in normal mode, that's gonna suck. That's- oh my god, that part. That part too, you gotta jump right away when you land. Oh boy, and that- oh! This part is so cool. We've made it to like this big tower in the hidden land. The tower that was in the distance. And now it's crumbling and now we have to escape because we found out the world's secrets. Here we go, we're going into the tower, we're getting teleported in! Let's do it, baby! Oh, yeah. We're on the elevator to get to the tower first. Oh my god, I'm stressed. Not gonna lie. My heart's a-beating a little bit. God damn it, it's tight! Are you kidding me, that jump?! No! <laughs> No way! Ah! <laughs> this level has such consistent difficulty, like the first 50% of it is really nice. And then it has all these weird timings when you get to the elevator part. <laughs> Whoa, what? <laughs> I don't... I don't even know what I did there! <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> oh fuck, I did it again! I just wanted to jump! I just wanted to jump up the normal way. What is wrong with that? Ah! Wow! Ah! Okay, guys, one like equals one prayer. One prayer, we won't hit. 
The death! Hey, 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 hey! We didn't hit it! We didn't hit it! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, there's just like a jump pad there. I forgot, you don't jump. This elevator part is cruel. It's the hardest part in the level by far. Oh my god, the spider, the, 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 the robot. I'm nervous. Okay, wait, jump! Oh my god, we're in new territory! Jump. Wait! Whoa! Jump! No! You jumped too high! Oh, the elevator part is gonna give me nightmares, man! God, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Why? Oh man, the elevator part! Oh, Oh! Oh my god! Don't die. Don't die. Focus mode. Don't talk. Oh, I almost didn't jump. Speed change. Oh my god. The ship part can kill you though. It's tough. It's tough. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it. No! God! I went up too far. No! No! No, 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 no! This fucking level, man. The, the intense screen shake. You can't see what's going on. But I don't want to disable the screen shake. It's cool. You're escaping the tower in the hidden land. Yay, that's cool to look at, isn't it? But you just can't see what's going on! It's like, blah, 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 blah. It's like playing, play a normal level while it's not screen shaking and then just do this and go, blah, 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 blah. and that's what it feels like. And you give me our ship section during that? We're gonna fly and go through portals and shit? Are you crazy? Well, that's great, my camera's dead.
Yes, okay, we did it. It's over, yes, yeah, it's over. It was such a cool art level, look at this, that's so cool. We got to the top of the tower in the hidden land. It's such a cool premise, really, really love it. But man, that elevator part, my God, the timings. <laughs> the timings. We did it! Yes! The the balance of the gameplay is really good, even at the end in the tower when it's shaky. Um, it's still good. It's just, man, that tower, that uh, that elevator part has some crazy timings that are going to put a lot of people off of the level, which is unfortunate. Because it unbalances the difficulty a little bit, but it's still a really fantastic level. I mean, it's it's amazing. It's it's such an achievement in the level editor. Such a cool premise. It really feels like you're going into the hidden land. The song really brings out the mysterious nature of the place that you're going to, and everything fits together into a really nice package. But that elevator part, though, <laughs> my God. Anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. All the levels we played today have something really special about them that I really wanted to show off in this insane levels video. Kismet Chaos, Fantastic, Propane Nightmares, The Hidden Land, they're all great levels for different reasons. And you guys should really give them a chance. Really cool. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, peace.